what's good guys welcome back to my channel for those who are new i am d and what is about to pop out here in here i can't do a video if she's awake guys it, 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 it won't work say hi hi oh why are you dirty okay uh so this is Alora. i am d and as y'all can tell from the title of today's video we are going to be giving some our uh, Valentine's Day ideas. Today's the day before Valentine's Day. Oh, who knows? Maybe all the last minute people and you can still pull it off after this business and you can have someone. And you can also use it for like other days, not Valentine's Day, like anniversaries, birthdays, yeah, ish like that. So yeah, let's get into So this also is for his and hers. You can give it to your man or they can give it to your late to their ladies. So yeah, this is a good idea for those who are broke. You can find a jar at home because we usually have jars lying around. And you just need a piece of piece of paper, cardboard, and cookies and all of that. And you're good to go. So actually, hey, when I was thinking of this idea, I actually think that People can also do this for friends. Uh, like, there are some people who struggle with depression or just feeling down. And if you give them that job of telling them how much you appreciate them, like the little things that you appreciate about them or love about them, um, it can cheer them up. So it doesn't have to only be for your lovers, people. It doesn't only have to be for your partners. You can also do this for your friends. It's a very nice idea. And you can do it for yourself to motivate yourself. Like you write the notes down or you get your friends to write little notes and then you put them in the jar. And every now and again, when you're feeling down, you just take a note, you read it, and hopefully it makes you smile. Number three on our list is for the guys. So, obviously, we can never go wrong with flowers and chocolates. If you're a man and you don't have that money, that much money to spend, you can always just get your girl flowers and chocolates. You can never go wrong with those. But for people like me, we are picky with the type of chocolate that you do buy. So make sure you know what type of chocolate your woman likes or doesn't like. They like peanuts, no peanuts, bubbly, no bubbly. Yeah, chocolates and flowers. Also, know what type of flowers they like. Some women 
actually don't mind getting fake flowers, like not non-real flowers because they don't want to have to take care of the flower after you've got it into them because if it's a real flower they gotta take care of it otherwise it will die and others just want it so that they it can stay there like they can use it as a decoration and remember that you gave it to them and it will not die so those are like artificial flowers so um yeah just brainstorm that on that think about what you think your girl likes or your woman likes and yeah number four on our list is for the women what you can get for your man it's not really more of what you can get for your man but rather what you can do for him you know what they say about ah uh, food is the heart to a man's heart man yo food is the heart to a man's heart yo food is the way to a man's heart i think that's it So, um, as I say, food is the way to a man's heart. I think that is the correct way. But I'll double check. But anyway, you can make your man supper or make him food. Like a whole feast. I have yet to meet a guy who doesn't like food. So, do that. Like, find out what his favorite foods are if you don't know already and make him that meal and share it with him he is going to appreciate it because i mean it is food after all otherwise yeah so a candlelit dinner or supper that you made i feel like it's better when you make the food yourself compared to if you're going out to a restaurant because it shows that you put in the time and the effort to try and impress them if you can't cook get 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 help you can get help from the people who can cook your friends you can order in and you decorate it i'm sure he, he, your man already knows you can't cook so you can order some food but then the way you present it should be you it should like show that you did something or put an effort to try and impress him see uh so yeah i think you guys get the gist of where i'm going with this for number five it is for the new couples um i actually like this idea it's matching bracelets or chains right so matching bracelets or chains for the new couple so the reason why i think it's a nice or a good valentine's day gift is because um when you receive a gift from your partner and it and they have a matching partner to that jewelry i want to say maybe no so when you receive a gift from your loved one and they have a matching pair that matches what they just gave you usually it gives off the feeling of commitment as in i want to try this for the long run and yeah so for the new couples i would suggest matching bracelets chains or cufflinks or whatever it can be like apparently there's a lot of ideas when it comes to matching things it can even be matching t uh tops hoodies or whatever the case may be anything matching is always a cute idea and it shows that because i mean they have one and you also have one so it's a way of showing commitment that i am committed to this relationship so for the new couples that is my suggestion for y'all for number six, so this is for the older couples, not to say older in terms of age, but people who've been together for a long period. So this could be the married couples, um, serious relationship couples who've been with each other for years. Um, so with them, I would suggest an explosion box. I personally have already done this one. Um, I think it's a brilliant idea, but do not overwhelm your partner. So, um, I'm gonna put in links to like to the videos that show you how to make an explosion box there are plenty of ideas the one I made was uh, filled with memories like the little memories of what you guys did what you accomplished like little things that are sentimental to your relationship and significant to your relationship you can put that in your explosion box I found out that they have variety now because when I did the explosion box was when 2017 i think 2017 when i did the explosion box but now there's a lot of ideas there's one way they have snacks so if your person loves snacks and food and stuff do that 
I mean, it's all about impressing them, right? And getting them to know that you are thinking about them. So you want to think about what will make them smile or make them happy rather than what will make you happy. Remember, it's for the other person. Okay, my battery died there for a second, but um, the last part is for couples that live together. Well, not necessarily have to live together because it's a picnic day, right? But this is for couples that are already romantic with each other. Like they don't wait for Valentine's Day to be romantic. They don't wait for birthdays. They don't wait for anniversaries. They just randomly show affection all the time. So I feel like a picnic would be a nice idea. Like you have each partner prepare something that they can put into the picnic basket. This could be in the form of cookies, hot cookies or whatever. And everyone comes together and you all go somewhere and you just spend time with each other. I feel like it's a nice idea. Um, I personally would go for that one compared to all the others. It's my favorite at the moment. So a picnic with your loved one or your valentine. And yeah, you both do something and you get together and you share. Kind of like um, the rainbow basket that was rainbow picnic that was going around last year but now with your loved one everyone brings something and then you show what you brought that will make the other person smile and yeah so before this dies again guys that is it for me today was very i think this was a short video but it is what it is don't forget to give it a like if you did enjoy this video share and comment down what else you guys would like to see from me until next time y'all bye Thank you.